Hello, uh, this is Richard with Janus Motorcycles, uh, back for another one of our parts talks. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about our carburetor. Once the, every vehicle had a carburetor, um, now it's actually kind of unusual for a, a modern motorcycle to be carbureted. Uh, most modern motorcycles are uh, use a fuel injection of some variety. Um, but we, we've decided uh, with the 250, we wanted an air-cooled, traditional, um, carbureted engine. And so uh, we've gone to great lengths, as I'll tell you in this video, to make uh, our fuel delivery, um, it is all mechanical, um, gravity-fed mechanical system. Um, and this is 50 state legal. So we are able to provide a carbureted, air-cooled motorcycle that is legal not only in the 49 states outside of California, but in the state of California, which is um, quite a feat. Uh, they have very strict emissions controls in California, and that is the reason for most manufacturers uh, going toward fuel injection, because it's easier to get a fuel comp uh, EPA compliant bike that way. So um, the carburetor, uh, if you don't know, just a quick rundown of what the carburetor does. The carburetor takes air coming in the intake in the air box on your bike, and then it mixes it with the fuel, fuel coming in this port right here, and it atomizes the fuel. So it basically takes a mixture of fuel and air, which it regulates mechanically, and it, 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 it uh, atomizes the fuel, which means that it sprays it in a very small molecules into this air going through the venturi, which is the, the passageway through the carburetor, and provides a, a, a mixture, which then can be ignited by the spark plug under pressure in the cylinder to create combustion. And that happens very, very quickly um, and all mechanically in a carburetor. So carburetors are fantastic pieces of engineering that have been continuing to develop over the last uh, over 100 years. Um, they started off very, very simple and very unadjustable and, and, um, and they've become highly sophisticated over the years. This is not the most sophisticated carburetor in the world. Uh, this is called the PZ30. It's made by um, Kian Carburetors, which if you're familiar with Hondas, you recognize that name. Hondas have had a relationship with Kian since the very beginning. It's another Japanese brand. Um, this uh, PZ30 means that it, that's the model number and then the diameter of the air passage or the Venturi. So it's a 30 millimeter capacity. This carburetor, as I say, is made by Kian. However, in order to make this carburetor work on our bikes, because you, know, you can't just certify a carburetor, you have to certify the whole bike. And so we, when we went through uh, emissions testing, we had to modify this carburetor to meet our modern 50 state California CARB and EPA regulations. So in order to do that, we had to do a lot of, you know, you know if, you, if you were running fuel injection, you would reprogram the, uh, the system and you would be able to make it work perfectly or cl close to perfectly with a mechanical carburetor, which again is operating completely mechanically, you're going to need to, to machine those parts to work differently. So what we're going to talk about next is all the parts that we make for this carburetor, which at this point we make quite a few. Um, we just don't, we don't make the housing. So um, we'll go over here. Um, this is the same carburetor that we've broken down into its constituent parts. Um, we're going to go through the parts that we modify or make as we put this back together and briefly talk about what each component does. So we'll start off with the uh, jet needle, which is this component right here. Uh, this is machined right down the road by a, a craftsman who uh, supplies the biomedical industry, which is right down in Warsaw, Indiana. So he is used to do very, very high tolerance uh, work. And he actually can laser engrave this. And I'm not sure you can see in this, in this video, but this has our part number, Janus Motorcycles, and our part number marked on there. Um, so you'll know this is a, uh, made just for, for us. Um, so we'll assemble this. This goes into the slide. This is, the, uh, this is what your throttle operates in the carburetor. So we'll put this together real quick here. So now you have your slide and your needle, and these are what's going to meter your air and your main jet fuel. So that goes in here. We have the slot. This will go in this way. When the, the part on this we modify is we, mod we modify the cutaway to, uh, to, again, part of that process of making this meet uh, emissions and run well. So that goes in here, and your throttle cable connects directly to that. So just real quick, you can see through there, that's the choke, and the slide is sliding up and down um, 
metering your, um, your, your acceleration. And then you have a spring that goes on there and that gets closed up. So again, all the, the housing we, we, we do buy in from Kian, but all the internals, the parts that meter the fuel, are what we are, we are uh, adjusting. The next part we make is the atomizer. And the atomizer is a, another component which moves fuel from the float bowl where, the, where it's, all the fuel is sitting down in here. And it goes up through this and there's air that gets uh, added to the mixture through these multiple very, very precise holes that helps atomize. It's called the atomizer. It helps atomize the fuel as it goes up there. And again, this is, we make this. So it says Janus and the part number here, which is 610554. Um, EPA and it has the date so we can track each batch we get um, just in case anything ever were to happen. Um, then the main jet, which we actually, we do buy this still from Kian, um, screws into the bottom of that. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that main jet, that's what, when you say you're rejetting the bike for it's running rich or lean at the top, that's what you're changing. Um, of course, on this bike, it's set up very well so you will not need to adjust that. This gets screwed in here. And then, we have the, we'll go kind of step backwards here in the process. This is the, the uh, pilot jet, which is again, we make this whole part. It's got its part number on there. It's gonna screw right in here. And where's my screwdriver? And then last, this is a part we make, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, this is the fuel air mixture um, and this, meters your air fuel, your how rich you're running at idle. And this is something that we set on every single bike that comes out of our shop. We use a five gas analyzer and we set this to meet emission standards and to run well. And because this is something that changes the way it runs, this is a EPA controlled part, um, we have to modify this to be tamper proof. So we have a specialty tool that we manufacture and that is the only way you can adjust that. So if you, uh, this has been set properly on your bike, so you won't have to worry about that. And that goes right here. Then these are all standard parts. If you're familiar with carburetors, you'll recognize exactly how this all goes together. Um, you have your float and your float needle, which we just buy in as they are, and they get assembled. Before I assemble this thing back to completely, just wanted to go over how these work. Um, you know, you basically you're going from your, your idle uh, uh, fuel air mixture to your pilot jet to your main jet. And um, so when you're idling, you're, you're running on this circuit here. Then when you're, on, when you're just off of that, um, uh, the first part of the throttle, you're going to be on your pilot jet. And then the last part of your throttle, when you're wide open throttle, or, and, and, and a little bit before that, you're on the main jet. So the main jet is what's controlling the, the mixture when you're uh, going higher speeds. So it's kind of a stepped process. And that allows us to control the fuel mixture at each part of that, uh, part of the throttle position mechanically with a carburetor. And that's, that's gonna be true of just about any, any vehicle carburetor. They're gonna work sort of similarly to this. So uh, last thing we'll do here is we'll install the float. And the float is what meters how much gas sits down in the float bowl waiting to be uh, pulled up into the the, jet, the main jet, and we're actually all the jets. And that's hold, held in place here by this pin. And then your float bowl goes on. And that's gonna go on just like this. And then it gets uh, screwed down and you have your complete carburetor. Another part of, the, of these specific PZ30 carburetors is they have an accelerator pump. And so we talked about how the, the throttle cable is coming right from your hand, from your throttle, and operating the, the main slide. But what it also does is it comes down to this component right here. And this, it, when it pulls this, it depresses this little pin here, and that moves a diaphragm, which squirts a little bit of gas into the mixture, a little extra gas into the mixture right off the throttle. So that gives you that initial throttle response, which some older carburetors lacked. So you really do have a carburetor which feels has a uh, even delivery of, 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 of fuel to, to the bike. So you, you don't have some of the lags or, or flat spots or um, lean spots that some carburetors um, can have that just reduce from the overall experience. So 
Um, we've worked really hard to develop this carburetor over the last couple of years, especially in preparation for EPA uh, and carb certification. And we're really proud to have a old fashioned carburetor on an air cooled bike, um, the simple as it can be, that meets modern standards and runs really, really smoothly. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode on our carburetors uh, and please stay tuned for more parts talks in the future.